Hi and welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we are going to be creating a ballerina girl. So I'm going to take you through the, the drawing action as well today, uh, which I don't do in a lot of the tutorials. So here I'm just drawing the face and something I like to do is put a vertical line right down the middle of the rock because then I can go from left to right and sort of make it even-ish. I never have it perfectly the same left to right but that vertical line really helps put into place um, to get the sides sort of matching. Okay, so the vertical line is just right down the middle of the rock and it will be right down the middle of your image. So it makes it a little bit easier to sort of come down and you know create the image on the left and then create that same image off to the right. Just put in the basics here. So you can see I just sketch it out with a normal uh, regular HB pencil. This one's a mechanical pencil and I'm taking the hair off to the left so and popping a crown there. Yeah so that's just a regular mechanical HB pencil and the next step that I like to do when I'm painting rocks is to uh, grab my fine liner pen and I would just outline this image in, I'm just looking for it, uh, black, here we go, okay, in the black acrylic paint pens, okay, and the brands I like to use are Posca, Artistro or Tuliart and they all have a 0 0.7 size fine liner in their range and this works perfectly just to create the outline of the rock. This isn't my top line. I just like to put a permanent line in on the rock so I know exactly where I'm coloring in and where I'm gonna add the shading and everything else. So you don't have to worry and get too fussy about it being the top line. Nope, just put the hair in there. Okay, so now you're left with this and it's really important to let that paint pen dry. It's only going to take a minute or so and when it has you can then start erasing the graphite pencil off the rock. Okay. Obviously if you do it too soon before the black pen dries it will smear the black pen out so just get rid of any rubbish off the rock and off your desktop. Okay and it's ready to paint. So now you're just going to lay down that base layer uh, of paint and on skin tones I like to use the beige and then I use a brown to shade it with if you like a little bit more pink or apricot you know Posca also have those tones as well so this one's for my little granddaughter because she loves dancing and my kids all danced when they were young as well so years and years ago and now my daughter is a school teacher and she's out uh, probably about a 10 hour drive from where we are. She's out in like a remote town, but she has started up the local dance school as well. So that's a little bit exciting that she took all her childhood, what she learnt in her childhood with her dancing and all her dancing certificates that she earned. And now she's sharing that out with her community and all the kids, you know, I smushed a little bit of the black there, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, so all the kids in this little country town, they don't have many facilities, so they were op able to open up a little dance school and a little performing school because they do singing as well and uh, different things. And they like sing at the Christmas carols and all that sort of thing, so they do town performances as well. It's a little bit fun. I'm glad something came of all those years of dancing and driving her around to different classes and this and that. Oh, she loved it at the time but I'm glad that she's able to pass that on to her community as well. So now I'm just going over and doing the second layer. So you can see I didn't have to leave it very long to dry. It's basically once I've covered it with one thin even coat, it's dry enough to take the second coat. Okay, so I'm just popping that all on. And when you're using good quality paints or acrylic paint pens, you only need to two bases of colour. That's it. It will look opaque, it will look perfect at that two, hang on, let me get into those bits. Yeah, after two layers it will look perfectly opaque. You don't have to keep painting six or seven layers and putting base coats down and all the rest of it. 
I think a lot of people like buy cheaper paints and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that suits the budget, but they just need a lot more uh, layers of paint. So, you, you know, either that or they have to put base coats in, things like that. So now I'm shading into the areas and you can see I dipped my paintbrush into the water. I wiped off excess onto the microfiber cloth and I just picked up some color off my paint pen. And I'm just using that now to just blend and add a little bit of shading to my rock. Yeah, if you've got to put down, you know, so many layers of base coats and um, so many layers of a different color just to make your color pop it starts not working out to be very economical not just with the the cost of your paints but what about your time because you're spending like an hour preparing the rock and um, you could have the whole rock colored in and finished within that hour so it's just something to think about you know it's it's a tough one because you think first of all it's quite good on the budget in the long term might not quite work out that way but I found, you know, I know a lot of people like to get as many colours as they can to start with. So you might want to like check out the Tuli Art or the Artistry packs because they have um, really great starter packs with like 18, one's an 18 pack, one's a 30 pack. So you get heaps of colours in that that you can start off. Um, and depending on what country you're in, because in Australia we have some really great packs with the Posca pens. So we're really spoilt for choice with those um, here and I'll put I'll put in the bio I'll put all the links to like different pens and everything so you can have a look and paints as well everything I'm doing right now with the paint pen you can do with your acrylic acrylic paint and paintbrush just pop that out of the way because we've got all the shading done and once that's done just grab your fine liner pen and let's get some outlines happening on the little ballet girl a little bit of extra paint into the corners and the joins just adds a bit more shadow yeah I see my kids our grandkids probably like Christmas and Easter so instead of like a whole ton of Easter eggs or something like that I'll um, paint them up some rocks that they can either keep or share in their community they love taking their rocks back and sharing them my little three-year-old, he has no idea that you put the rocks in the community and they have to be painted. You know, a lot of kids go out there looking for painted rocks. He literally just goes out and looks for rocks. He's so cute. He comes home and goes, look what I found. And it's just some blank, beautiful rock from nature. And he's so excited. He's just as excited to find that as he is to find. Yeah, there you go. There's some of my gray hair. <laughs> That's what you needed to see in the middle of the video. Yeah, so he gets really excited to see those rocks um, just as much as uh, if they had pictures on them, which is quite cute. Brings them home and we paint them up. Okay. Just fixing up a little bit of gold in her crown there. So pop some of the um, coral, just dot it onto the cheeks and while it's wet, do a really quick dab with your finger and that just blends it across so it's not too much of a stark circle. Okay, and then you can just pop the face on top. Yeah, so do the cheeks first and then, then go on top and do your face to get that kind of look. Something a bit different, I'll just put a bit of yellow into her hair and lastly I'm going to follow up with my white paint pen and just add some highlights in there and if you need like video tuition help on how to do all these steps don't forget that we have our rock painting course with over 50 videos and that's available on our website at rock painting workshops you can also pop along to our Facebook group and we have over a thousand tutorials there and uh, We'd love to see your work and come and join us in our Facebook group. Uh, that's Reef Rocks Free Workshops. We'll see you there.